Good morning. Um, so I'm back in Washington uh, where I live with Ben. It's my fourth full day off the trail. It feels really, really strange and I'm a little restless to be honest. Um, I got in last night and I am so happy to be here. We have like really amazing views from our house and it's just like absolutely beautiful. I haven't been here in a while, so it feels like, whoa, <laughs> everything's so beautiful. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, but yeah, basically the plan is. Hey, so just for an update, I'm taking a zero today. I just got some groceries. I'm also taking a zero tomorrow. I am just in the hotel now. My laundry's getting washed, so I'm just kind of like hanging out. Yeah, I went to a coffee shop this morning. Hmm. Terry, the woman who owns Cumber Sweets, um, is so nice and she's been so hospitable. This has been like such a nice day already. So I'm really looking forward to just <clears throat> hanging out in this room <laughs> and um, getting some videos uploaded and relaxing, maybe like take like 10 more showers. <laughs> no, no. Really. Also, it's been nice running into hikers. Um, that's what, I, it just happens so much more in town than on the trail and just getting to catch up with people and figure out what they're gonna do with the snow and I still haven't figured that out. So when I figure out, when I figure it out, I'll let you know. <laughs> more later. Tonight's dinner. Good morning, it's my birthday today and I am in Chama in the Cumbra Suites and um, I am drinking coffee. I just figured out my plan for the next section. I basically spent all day yesterday looking at the different options and doing research and things and Finally, I've come up with a decision and a vague, a plan that's not quite clear yet, but it's getting really close. <laughs> a couple other hikers got in last night and I just met them today, or it was one, um, it's Beer Goddess and Lone Wolf. I met Beer Goddess in the Triple Crown Hostel, and so it was great to see them, and I think we might do something for my birthday today later. They went to the trail, <laughs> they borrowed, the owner of this, um, the owner of the Cumbra Suites lent a truck to these hikers to go pick up some hikers because it's like downpouring right now and probably really bad conditions in the mountains. So um, there was a couple, couple hikers that needed a ride and yeah, so they're off doing that and I have just been trying to figure out a few more details on the next section, which I will update you on soon. So I think this video is a little different because I'm combining a couple days just because yesterday was like pretty uneventful and I was, I didn't get a lot of clips sadly of like doing things because I was uploading and um, I like left my phone in the, in the room while I was doing things. So anyways, um, yeah, more to come. So this is the box I'm leaving for other hikers. It has chips and fuel and a cherry turnover, Oreos, lots of um, complete cookies, mandarins, ramen, salsa, and a bunch of bars.
So I'm all ready to head out. I'm headed to the bus station. Thomas downtown area. So cute. Can you hear the birds chirping? I just got off the bus in Santa Fe and I have a couple hours until my bus or until my train to Albuquerque so just walking over to a Starbucks and just gonna sit in there try to wake up a little I'm still pretty tired from uh, waking up so early so yeah it feels weird my feet are sore <laughs> I guess this is uh, my third day off, which is weird, and it's going to be a long time till I'm back on trail, so we'll see how I can keep my body in shape while I'm at home. So I'm actually not going into Starbucks, I'm going into this cute little coffee shop, a local Santa Fe one. So. Fun. So I'm headed to lunch now. Excited to get some food. But yeah, basically the plan is to take two weeks off to wait for the snow to melt a little bit more. Obviously, um, when I get back, it will still be early in season, so I will likely still be dealing with snow. 
it took me a really long time <laughs> to decide what to do. I considered um, taking time off and then flipping, not taking time off and then flipping like north because sometimes hikers will go up to Wyoming and then hike south or go up to like a snow free place and then hike north or south. And there's like all these different options. You can get really creative with your through hike, but <clears throat> I just really like the idea of walking north um, and continuing um, obviously my continuous footsteps, which I could still do with the flip flopping, but yeah, I basically have decided that I'm taking two weeks off. I'm spending a week at home and then a week with some friends um, in Colorado. So I'll have a week of being in high altitude again. Uh, so that'll be good uh, because right now in Washington, we're basically at like zero elevation. After these two weeks, um, once I get back to Chama and I will decide based on the avalanche danger, um, because when I left it was moderate. Um, if it goes down to low and I can kind of get an idea of where the dangerous sections are and like how to know, because I don't really have a lot of avalanche danger knowledge. <laughs> um, and I think it's a lot more dangerous in Colorado than it is in the High Sierra. So, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna try to grow in my understanding of that and my awareness. And then if it goes down to low, I'm gonna do the red line, which in Gut Hook is the official Continental Divide Trail. But if the snow is still really heavy and the um, avalanche danger is still moderate, um, I will consider taking the Great, Div Great Divide alternate, which is um, an alternate that kind of skirts to the east of the San Juans. Um, you still go through the mountains and it'll still be beautiful, but it will be a road walk. <laughs> um, and that's what a lot of hikers do if they want to continue north and not be in the snow or if the snow is too dangerous. Um, so I hope to take the red line the whole time because I'm so excited to be in um, like high elevation and with like I love being in really exposed areas because that just means you have views and views and views for miles and I like I know that I'm going to be like in complete awe and and absolutely love it. Um, I know there's going to be like thunderstorms and snow and so like I know it'll be challenging but I really want to be able to like get into the San Juans and do the red line. Um, so <clears throat> yeah that's my goal for right now. That's what's going on. Um, I'm sorry I didn't explain it in the last three days uh, which I made in twin videos so but it's just been kind of like, like kind of letting it all settle in and kind of realizing what's happening. Like I never took, I didn't even take a triple zero on the PCT until like Washington. And I think I only took one. And then I had to take 10 days off like at the very end of the PCT for the fires. But I only had like two and a half days left of the trail. So I've never taken this much time off with so much of the trail to go. I definitely don't feel done hiking the CDT. I, I feel like, nope, there's still a lot and I'm still going to keep going. <laughs> but um, I just, I want to give the snow a chance to melt so that I have possibly the opportunity to hike less in the snow. Yeah, so during these two weeks, my goal is to try to stay in shape and work out. I'm definitely not going to go on like 20 mile walks. Maybe I'll go on like one or two long hikes while I'm here. Um, but I'm just going to try to work out and keep my put my backpack on and work out and do some yoga and like really massage out my feet. And, and then also just like, I don't know, maybe make some different style videos while I'm here. Um, you'll have to let me know like if you're interested in like still seeing daily vlogs like while I'm here, like are they just, um, of me training and prepping, I was thinking about prepping boxes and I could maybe do some, I don't know, just some other videos. So we'll see. Um, but I kind of hope to still do it like a little bit vlog style. So hopefully that, hopefully you guys will find that interesting, even though I'm not on trail and you won't be hearing the of my sleeping pad every morning. <laughs> but, uh, 
yeah, I'll still try to make some interesting videos. So, okay, this was a long update, but I thought it was about time that I let you know what was going on. So, more later.